right, let's take a look at Dice Tower news for today, the 24th of 24. It's 10 24 24. Oh, it is. Oh. Once it's the 24th month, it'll be 24, 24, 24. It's pretty exciting. Oh, that's neat. The next one will be in the year 2036 when it's 12, 24, 36. That's interesting. 24, 30. I don't get it. Yeah. Let's move on. Let's talk about some news. Wizards of the Coast drops their preview track from the new Dungeons and Dragons music album. What? what? What does that mean? They dropped the single from Bardic Inspiration's musical journey through the Forgotten Realms. Was this is releasing November 15th. The song revealed was Arise Tiamat, which is an homage to the Queen of Dragons herself. There are 12 tracks composed by Michael Gott that are themed around iconic locations in the Forgotten Realms setting. So. What? Who are the musicians on this? What do you do with it? No, it's okay. It. Well, it's I'm music. glad you asked. But I meant, like, These tracks can be RPG? used to set the mood for okay. RPG sessions or possibly as background music in a retail setting. That's so what I like, really want. <laughs> so basically, like every other piece of music, if you want. Right, to. yeah. Okay. I don't get Okay, that's whatever, Strange. man. Yes, make that money. Is it Wizards. coming to like cassette? Really? Tape I think this is kind of cool. I think this is kind of a cash grab a little bit. I'm just. People make fantasy music all the time. This is just happens to be from them and branded. They sure, but I mean, it's like, like getting a soundtrack for a movie. I like that. Yeah, is there a f- is there someone that we would recognize or that somebody would recognize who's playing the music? I guess what's it no, gonna, no 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 no. It's like Michael, a guest artist or it's something. Michael Gatt is the composer. What's it? Go- how's it going to make it fit uh, like D and D specifically, as opposed to like generic fantasy? The well, cost. It'll be more well, yeah, expensive. That's true. No, he's done movies of different things. He's done uh, like what? Name four. Okay, Batman. Uh huh. The Long Halloween. That's a great mm-hmm. film. You know what? He no, that anti- is good. <laughs> that's a good one. The Long I- Halloween <laughs> is one of the best known Batman stories ever. I can't tell me I'm tell, wrong. I can't tell with you. I don't so, know. I've never read the long so Halloween. What did he do? Any Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles stuff? You can literally see the screen here. You, you liar. Oh yes, he did. <laughs> no, this is fine. This is cool. I, I wonder how well this will do. I mean, I, I love the ambient music. You know, as I'm playing games and stuff like that. But this just seems cash grabby. Like you said, I mean, just put our name on it so we can charge well, for it, it instead is of cash going to grabby, like. But they may have. They may have paid this guy good money to do it. I'm not saying it's not good, yeah. right? But the it other, just also seems like you can already get this kind of stuff. I think the other that's it. That the other thing about this is anybody who really loves listening to this kind of music while they play RPGs, they've got music at right. this point. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So I wonder if this is going to be good enough for them to be like, oh my gosh, I yeah. got to throw away my old crap and this is the new soundtrack to my life. Right, I mean, there's whole websites designed for this where you go in and you're like, oh, I'm in a marsh, and, you know, it'll pull up a bunch of different ones that you can sample. Ooh. And it's like, ooh, that's the one I want. And, you know, I'll put that play, or pirate, or anything like that. There's websites for this stuff. And now this music will be part of those websites. Yeah. I wonder if it's on Spotify. I'll find out. I'm going to play it in the studio nonstop. I'm down. For yeah. our, okay, let's move on. Uh, Chessex is releasing a 2024 holiday calendar. Ooh. Uh, this is a new Advent Dice calendar that you don't have to kickstart because oh. there's been several that you've had to kickstart. I really like that box a lot. The gelatinous cube box there. Is that what that is? Oh, okay, I, I didn't couldn't see that. figure it out. Yeah, I couldn't either. So, anyway, it's a goblin sleigh ride through. If you can see, it's hard to tell from the, the picture, but you see the, the Rudolph in the front yes. has been caught in a gelatinous cube. Oh, okay. So I'm pretty sure they're there showing you all now. four sides in the picture. And you're seeing him from different angles. Okay, that's. I bet that looks a lot better in person. It's a really it's, cool it's, idea that yeah, I think looks great. Yeah, it's hard to pick that up from a picture. Actually, yeah. the advent calendar is all four of those cubes. Oh, I see. It's like rotating. Okay, okay. Each calendar has three exclusive standard size polyhedral dice sets. Polyhedral? Mm. Yep. Two exclusive mini hedral die sets, an exclusive heavy mega hedral die, a limited reduced mega hedral die, an exclusive count up and down die, three special 60 millimeter D6 dice, two special release brush dice, and crystal display boxes. Man. 50 bucks. That's not horrible. You can yeah, also. That's not bad for, wait, I'm sorry. You get the nope. chest six dice with it. Nope. Oh, I take it back. Sorry. It's terrible. 
Each cube is 50 bucks. What? Pass. You want the whole thing, along with a metal sign, which I'm assuming is the thing next to it. Yes. One ninety nine ninety two. Oh, that's a deal. Wow. <laughs> it's eight Jeez. cents less. <laughs> Thank you, Danny, for the Thank super you, chat. Thank you, Danny. Super chat. Okay. <laughs> All right. Half Truth Second Guess has been re-released. This is the uh, game co-designed by Richard Garfield, not the only time you'll hear his name today, and Ken Jennings, who whooped up on Jeopardy, and now his name is forever tied with that and party games, I suppose. Um... This has already been out. We've played it. We've reviewed it. But this is like the it? sequel to that game. Yeah, he really likes it. Yeah, yeah. I like it. It's basically what it does is it gives you six answers, and it will say... Which of these films was scored by Michael Gott? <laughs> right, okay. <laughs> and it'll be so, like, Batman, The Long Halloween. <laughs> right, so they okay. have six answers. Three are correct, three are not. You can pick as many... You can pick up the three answers, but all your answers have to be right for you to get points. So if you if you're feeling so, safe, you can just pick one. It's a push your luck thing. I'm like, I know this one for sure. Okay, so, so you're yes. picking and the right. And then this one, I'm pretty sure I'll risk it and pick that one too. Got it. If you pick any one that's wrong, you're you're nothing. done. You get nothing okay. for it. But you could do three. You could get the best as three. And all you're doing is picking the right, or can you be like, no, no, I know it's not that one because I know. Well, if you no, know it's not that one, you you, you know you to exclude it. That's all. Okay. You can't pick the three wrong, but if you were picking the three wrong, you're picking the three right anyway. You understand how that works? Right. No, but if you know it's wrong, Do you understand? that's different. No, I what I'm what saying, saying, though, okay. I know. He's being, yeah. being subtle today. You need to the have some more long coffee. Halloween. <laughs> no. Drink some more coffee. Go. Good night. <laughs> I'm go back to bed. Anyway, uh, this is mm. uh, coming out now. Cacao beans. And I've actually, I've seen them. They made professional ads for this, too, starring Ken Jennings himself. Really? Yep. Here's a piece of news I was not expecting. Risk 2210 AD Frontline is being Frontline. produced by Renegade. This is a collection of four expansions that were originally released in 2004, and the only way to get them was to win a tournament. Back in 2004, I wanted them so desperately. Oh, wow. They were really hard to get. Never I never heard of this. Yeah, they were crazy mm. rare. Still are crazy rare. Well, this puts them on the box, and I applaud this sort of thing. Yeah. That's they've, pretty cool. They've just released Risk 2210. Um, I almost will play it. I don't know because I played Risk Twenty Two Ten. I don't know ten, fifteen times in my life, and I've never once played the game where someone at the table didn't get actually angry. Oh, and that includes me. Oh, <laughs> so <laughs> I don't know. This is a, yes. this this takes risks and adds nukes to it and stuff. It's it's really mean. It's wow. so mean. That is such a throwback cover, too. That box with the stripes around mm. the outside. Such a throwback Avalon Hill thing, you know. Apparently there's giant parasites flying around. Mm-hmm. That's how they do it. Oh, yeah. What are the four expansions? Mars. Added Mars and the, its two moons to the board. Because the game originally was you, you're you fighting on Earth and on the moon. Okay. So that added Mars. Tech Commander adds a six-player. A six commander. Well, I guess there was different commanders. You could be factions that add six different factions. That's the one I really wanted. And then invasion of the giant amoebas. There you go. Uh, That's I the like thing that. that with the floating. That's the one I want. All right. Bang dice explosion. So uh, this came out at Gen Con. I say, yeah, we've seen this, right? Why is this in the news? Okay. This is already out. We already got it. Okay. Get all everything for Bang the Dice game in a very annoying package. Right. That won't fit on your shelf next to anything else. Next, Barrage, the legendary box. So uh, they crowdfunded the legendary box, okay. and this will reach backers in mid-2025. Wait, they crowdfunded this? Yeah. We covered on crowd surfing a while ago. Continuing to move on here. All right. Champions of Midgard, 10th anniversary. This is the 10th anniversary. It's huh. going to include everything for Champions of Midgard, including promos. So I assume the promos that we've had in our in our Kickstarters. All rebalanced to mesh well, along with new artwork and super premium components. <laughs> super, super premium. premium. Okay. They're tough. not premium. Super <laughs> Just premium. Just say premium. What on earth? Right. No, 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 no. That's <laughs> trash. Premium components. That's pretty uh, cool. I do like uh, the all-in-one box because the expansions for this game really do matter. 
Okay, so this isn't one that having a big box will keep it from getting to the table. I don't think so. No, okay. there's a couple of expansions, a few promos. I don't know how many promos really there were made. I'm guessing, you know, a handful. But yes, you you want the space game with the expansion. I'm just saying that okay. everything fits. They already made a big box. So yeah, the, but it they, wasn't with super premium bits, was it? <laughs> that's true. That's the difference here because the game came in a ticket to ride size box, mm -hmm. and then there's one of those taller ones, which we have in the yeah. library, that holds it in an expansions. So I don't know why I want a bigger box other than money. There's that too. Yeah. Is it bigger or is it? It looks longer. That, okay, I guess I haven't seen. It does yeah, look the other one. longer this way. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. Eh, everyone else is doing it. Why not Gray Fox? Mystic Manor. I don't know. There's something about this cover that makes it look <coughs> generic. Not the. What is? It almost looks like a children's book. It does absolutely look like so. a children's book. Yes. I'm guessing that's on purpose. A cooperative ghost hunting game of courage and strategy. You know what it looks like, and I hate to say this because this might be a lovely game. <coughs> it very much looks like a a an off brand. Uh, ghost fighting treasure hunters. I was thinking the same thing. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. This looks like the one that like you could get the one, you could get Ghost Fighting Treasure Hunters at Barnes and Noble. <laughs> this is the one you could get at like Walden, Walden Books. Books. <laughs> yes. Yeah. You know what I mean? Or it's I mean, like or uh, it feels like the book that inspired it. You know, yes. the choose your own adventure the original book in the 80s. From the 40s. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> You're like, right, well, here's what it is. <laughs> this is coming from last night games. Two to five players are going to perform actions outside the manor to okay. allow them to build up their character's maximum courage and storage. Mm -hmm. Those don't rhyme, but that's annoying. <laughs> courage and storage. Anyway, gain new items, sell items you collected, enlist the help of a pet dog, or reset their courage points to re-enter the manor. You're going to go through this to collect items, attack ghosts, capture imps, bargain with apparitions, or gain <laughs> the companionship of a house cat. Aw. Okay. It sounds super cute. Is this four kids? I'm assuming it says ten plus on the box right there. Thirty to sixty minutes, two to five. So it could. Be. It looks really cute. I love. I love that cover. I, I. I would love to play this. All right. You're looking at me like I'm lying. I was trying to figure out if you were or not. No, no, I'm not lying. This looks super cute, and I would definitely play this. Reef and Ruins. This is a new game from Weird Draft Games Whoa. from Carla Cop. Uh, this is a roll and write style game. Each person has their own reef, rune, and enchantment player sheets. Took me a while to process that creature. That's three heads, I think. Yes. It's three fish with their tails Looks connected like on a dinosaur body. Heads. That's very Pokemon esque, honestly, that head. Wow. That it looks like an axolotl, right? I mean, with the little. Bop, bop, bop. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't, I'm not loving this. All right, well, I'm deeply uncomfortable. Let's move on to Sweet Lands. Now, if Mike was here and he did put the news together, this would be his pick of the week. Oh. This is coming from Uchi Pacoya, who has made amazing games, Aqua Gardens. Oh, Austria. from that oh. group of folks. Yes. Okay. So okay. you know, I'm I'm excited about it because these guys have not missed yet. They're really well. Maybe they're Polar Bear versus Penguin mini game that they threw in. That was garbage. But the rest of it is great. Um, their games are also seemingly getting bigger. This looks like a pretty right. hefty game. That's what I, I say. This is a, a leap from Aqua Garden. Especially well, since this game has a the... 1.5 to 3 hour playing time. But I mean, still, they had, they had that, um... Ostia was big. Yes. Yeah, Ostia was big. It wasn't, I don't... I don't think it, maybe, I don't think it, it maybe wasn't this, this big. That's yeah. what I'm saying. It's well, like... three hours. Yeah. That, I'm sorry. I, I find that to be a slight disconnect with that cover. The game called Sweet Lands... She's slinging butter or whatever, and this thing takes three hours? I don't know. It looks really cartoony for a three-hour game. Welcome to Sweetlands, the kingdom of delightful confections. The former king has succumbed to his gluttonous love for sweets, <laughs> leaving behind a final decree. Summoned by this royal edict, you and your fellow players are challenged to build the most magnificent city, and if you succeed, you will ascend as the new ruler of Sweetlands. This is a heavyweight Euro style game with over 200 <laughs> cards, 14 unique characters, oh, and 449 wooden tokens, offering an unprecedented gaming experience. Huh. Wow. Okay. Color me intrigued, but I don't know. Mike's pick of the week. Yeah, no, yeah, 100%. Yeah. Yeah, when absolutely. it comes out, it will be out. It will be. There we go. All right. <clears throat> hey, it's the year of duels. When people ask about the trend of the year, and so the newest one 100%. is Azul Duel. It is. I don't. 
I kind of wish they would come up with another name for these games, though. Well, they've done the whatever, whatever for two in the past. Or duo. We've seen a couple <coughs> duos. There's duet. been one duo. Duet. There's been duet. Yeah. Yeah. Duel is fine. The weird trend is more when they do it for a game that was perfectly enjoyable at two. In fact, might have been best at two. And they're like, yeah. this thing, Duel. And you're like, hold up. I know I played the original one with two people a lot. Right. I like that. And I know they're making yeah. a new game and they just want to sell it based on the name of Zool. But it's still kind of strange. Call it something else. And just say it's a game for only two people. I've never actually played a, a Zool with two, haven't? Have you? Yeah. You? No. I've... Do you like it with two? Yeah, it's great with two. There's it nothing... seems like it would be. Yeah, yeah. There's no... This didn't need to be a thing based on people clamoring to play a Zool with two people, is my point. Well, either way, there's going to be some differences here. I can see them. The boards are different. How you put tiles out. Um, this is coming out February 21st next year at the Cannes Festival from Next Move Games. <laughs> All right. Next, we have a teaser picture of the new Magical Athlete, which has a real schoolhouse rock vibe to Very it. Very much so. Um, so this is Magical Athlete, of course, is a game that I really like a lot. It originally came out from a Japanese publisher and Z-Man Games produced it in 2010. This new one is coming out quarter two of 2025, and it says there's a lot of new racers and updated gameplay courtesy of Richard Garfield. Um, he said he really likes playing the game. He's played it a ton. Um, if CMYK is, is watching this video, I still would like to be involved somehow, but that's okay. It's okay. Use Richard Garfield. Makes sense. Um, I am excited. That's coming out next year, though. All right, Renegade has a new game from Scott Alms, Wraiths and the Giants. I wonder why they added the. Wraiths and Giants seems good. Oh, well, it's, I'm sorry. One singular oh, Wraith. it's Wraith and the Giants. Yeah. Wraith and the Giants. Wraith. The Wraith and the... No, okay. just Wraith and the Giants. Wraith. You are Wraith. In this game, a player must mm -hmm. take up their grandmother's Ray, Ray. sword and bow and defend a village against hungry giants. Oh, that's the theme of... Shadow of the Clauses? No. Red what? Riding Hood? No. No. This is why you're doing the camera. <laughs> no, there's a, there's a there's a story that that is very much the theme of. I they used they the cards to battle play. their way through four out unique of it. boss fights. Well, maybe someone will tell they us. They made a movie out of it, I want to say. Oh. the chat. The battles are complemented by a narrative written by Brian C.P. Steele, making this game a unique, rich solo challenge. A solo hero series from Renegade. They already have a solo game in this series already. Is oh, this... yeah, they have. Oh, okay. I couldn't see the bar at the yeah, bottom because yeah, it it's behind the camera. Series. My bad. Huh. Yeah, this is like the fourth or the fifth. Okay. What are some of the other ones? Uh, um, Wreckland. There is the very first one was in an arena. You're fighting in an arena. Um, well, this theme, it there's really like attracts four. me. This there's already looks... like four. Ooh. I killed giants is what I'm thinking. Does it of, say yes. anything about the mechanisms? Is it like card based? Is it? I don't know anything about these. Nah, series. it says it's 30 to 45 minutes. It just says there's going to be boss fights with epic com conflicts. Okay. The game is just cards. It's loopy there. Okay. It is just cards. Mm. I know they've had some with dice. Like the first one I played, or well, the only one I've played, I should say, was the very first one, was a timed dice chucking thing. And it was in an arena. You were fighting in an arena. Okay. Hmm. All right. Pitch out. Under versus Aquiles. A new... What a terrible name. Wait, what? Where's Under versus Aquiles. Aquiles. Anyway, it's a new edition of a disc flicking game. Pitch out. Um, this is coming oh. out. You, you, you can tell we don't have a ton of news. <laughs> uh, this has discs and you're flicking them at each other. Oh, yeah. Uh, Warp's Edge, Reckland Run. Those are the ones, the solo ones, yeah. All right. And finally, in May 2025, Polish publisher Board and Dice is going to crowdfund a new version of Trismegistus, the ultimate formula. Uh, this was a game that definitely is kind of not the redheaded stepchild of the quote unquote T series, but definitely. I think it's the most complex of the series. I oh, like wow. it a lot, mm. but it had some 
visual issues and it's a bear to teach so it seems like they're going to streamline the rules that's great intuitive graphic design great and completely new artwork i'm going to miss this beautiful picture of this old man and the cat but we'll just suffer through you said it's in maybe they'll save it hopefully this is still the cover (laughs) do you hope that do you I hope that they use him or the cat in some fashion, yes. <laughs> it's in May. It's in May? It's in May, yes. It's in I'm May. sorry. Okay. I got caught up. With, no, you're good. Because he's really... I, I don't know anything he says is true or not today. It's very confusing. That, folks, is the news. Hey, folks. Thanks for watching another one of our videos. If you like our videos, if you like our channel, you would love to game with us at one of our conventions. Check out Dice Tower Cruise, Dice Tower East, and Dice Tower West. Fantastic conventions where we play games with wonderful people, a humongous library, and lots of other events and stuff. Also, don't forget to check out our channel, like and subscribe. I'm Tom Basil.